We've invited the leading lady of each opera, uh, Eva Maria Westbrook, royal opera favorite, who uh, does Santuzza and Cavalleria Rusticana, and one of opera's new big world stars, Carmen Giannatasio, who sings Netta, I think for the first time. Is that true? Yes, it's my debut. Yeah. Oh, Very exciting. Role, yeah. I was going to ask you first about this concept of verismo. You know, we know that, that the composers wanted to write about real people who have dirty underwear and who has real stories. And we even hear in the prologue to part, yeah, sorry about that image. <laughs> like uh, that. <laughs> but I think for Netta, it's quite true. If you yeah, are an actress yeah, who travels yeah, with a troupe, you know. Yeah, yeah it's true. As opposed to these stories about kings and princes and faraway things, is there a difference to performing roles in a realistic opera, Carmen? What does, does, can you feel that difference? Is it different to play last time, one of the last times you were here, you were play, playing Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, of course. And now it's you are Netta. Yeah, it's completely different to be Elizabeth the first and, and then Netta, <laughs> not only for the historical time, but also because they are two completely different characters. And Netta is a character where we can identify nowadays, not because it's, she's very modern, she's, it's a period of history very close to us when, when the opera was written and when it was um, presented for the first time. So it's like a uh, hundred years and it, it's not so much different, I would say. She's a fallen woman. She's not a heroine like in other operas that we are used uh, to to perform or to listen to. But when you create a role like that, do you approach it in the same way? Every time is completely different. When uh, when when I sang El Elizabeth the first, I was studying so hard, not only musically, but I was you know having so many documents with me, like biographies, like going to the portrait gallery here, uh, I like watching a lot of movies, you know, from, from the past and seeing the, the best actresses doing, doing the, 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 the role. So no, every time is completely different because how can you compare a, a queen with this poor lady, a fallen woman, a victim of, let's say, the star system, uh, a victim of the family, a victim of herself for her uh, decisions because she's betraying, you know, her husband. And even if he's not that good, even if he drinks, even if he's violent and she doesn't love him anymore, in any case, what she does is a bad decision. She should, you know, say, well, look, I don't want to have anything with you. Goodbye, I'm starting a new life. Eva Maria, that's interesting to hear that, that Carmen, you, you talk about Netta being a victim and also being in some ways doing the wrong things. Yeah. Santuzza always confuses me. She is obviously very much in love with Turito mm -hmm. and she's been betrayed. Yeah. And yet she also seems obsessed with this man. And she even causes, I don't think we give away anything by saying she causes his death yes. by telling uh, his mistress's husband. Is she a heroine or is she... Well, a she's a, a real verismo heroine, so she's a real person. So she, she's really in love and she makes big mistakes and she's really obsessed like we can be. Yeah, she's a victim of, of society and a victim of her own love and, and she makes a huge mistake by telling Alfio. But it feels also as if she is, as you, as you mentioned, obsessed. Yeah. And it's like she, she, she holds on to do it. What has caused that obsession? What is it that makes her not, you know, need that man so much? Why, if she, he betrays her, why does she not just leave him behind? That happen, you know, you fall for the wrong person and you obsess. <laughs> it happens, I think. And, and uh, it's very uh, real and uh, her begging, and it makes her so unattractive to him, you know, because that's what, that does, and you're like, please stay with me, and they're like, ugh, you know. It's worse and worse. In so, a way. and it makes it worse yeah. and worse. So, so her approach. What makes her tell the husband? Is that a spontaneous act, or is that more? Well, scary? because he just uh, he says, you know, he gets really. They have a horrible fight, and uh, he leaves her, and she's all alone, and she's so angry and so upset, and in a, she sort of blurts it out to him. Mm. Does she regret it then? Oh yes. Immediately, almost immediately, mm. and then because she realizes that he's, you know, that's going to end really bad. In contrast to Carmen, you've sung Santuzza before. Yes. You did it at the Met with David Nogueira, one of the royal yes. favorites. 
How do you approach a role like that? I mean, you start with the music or you start by trying to find out who that character is or what's your way in or you wait for the director to come and tell you? A little bit of everything, I think. And uh, I, it was one of the first roles I sang uh, a long, very, I don't want to say how long ago, it was very long ago. <laughs> and, uh, and then I only went for the music because, you know, but the wonderful thing with these Verismo operas, I personally think, is that it all comes together, you know. That's why they're so powerful, that the emotion and the music and the time, it's all in the same moment. It's not like when you have more of a classical piece that you stand and you tell a story and it's a you have to sing a mm. beautiful aria it, it's a little different this is all action and happening right, right. that's why it's so exciting i'm sure it will be happy i mean eva maria is one of the people in the world who is best at making me cry when she's on an opera oh. stage so i'm sure that will happen again <laughs> carmen i mean in a way pagliacci is less about crying it's maybe less a soft opera than Cavalleria, where you really feel pain with these guys, and it's more shocking in a way. Especially the second half of Pagliacci, which is this theatre performance, this trick of, it's, it's like a commedia dell'arte, yeah. comedy, and then in the middle of it, it becomes reality, and the audience yeah. doesn't understand. Tell us a little, what's it like well, to do that double act? Yeah, and it's, it's, very, it's also very, a little bit complicated, you know, because you are an actress, but acting as an actress, so it's the play into the play. Mm. It's really complicated, you know, and everything, and sometimes... And even musically as well, no? And, and musically, and yeah, it's very demanding, it's quite tricky, especially the, 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 the commedia. It has so many <laughs> things that it's reality, not reality, what is going on, and also the audience, um, who are the chorus, they, they don't know, it's so well written, this opera. It's really so very well written, because... It, it, people uh, as well in the, in the audience in the chorus they don't understand if the actors on stage so us the, the singers if we are really acting a play or it's a reality you know because when Kanyo comes and he's like drunk and so angry for what he saw a couple of hours before maybe who knows just before the show they was finding his wife you know, with her lover, and he couldn't see his his face, and so he's <coughs> in his mind he's going crazy because he, do, he he doesn't know if it was true, it was not true. If she's betraying him, she he, he wants to know his name. She doesn't want to tell him. Mm. It's a very complicated, and he he tries. I mean, to to go into the piece, into the play, but he can't. So he's interrupting every second and it's know, almost the, as if also musically she tries to draw him back into the comedy yeah. doesn't she she tries to say let's yeah. play let's act again and let's not yeah. you know yeah. talk, so, let's talk so, about it so the chorus the, the audience there it, is shocked and and one second later oh no they're joking it was just it's acting. not true yeah. yeah but by the end he kills me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you gave it away <laughs> Uh, yeah. Carmen, when we see Neta on stage, how much will be you and how much will be Damiano? How do you work with the director? How much of it is you shaping the ideas? How much do you want the director to do that for you? Can you give me a sense of that? Uh, I think uh, 50%. <laughs> I think I put, you know, m my ideas, my, you know, my posture, my gesture, what I've studied and, and then, yeah, my physicality. And then, I mean, I'm, I'm getting his suggestions, like uh, I was thinking of her a little bit more victim of what she is, a little bit more sensible, more sensitive, uh, in, in a full melancholy. And he was explaining me that, yeah, there is all this, but she's also very sharp mm. and very living in a disillusion, you know, because she she didn't get what she really wanted probably some success probably she was marrying this man she was a starlet and thinking oh i'm marrying this man he probably was a famous actor at that time and mm. then he was falling down you know it happens in reality as well and eva maria uh working with with Damiano how much do you bring from other productions I mean I sometimes find as a director when I see you guys and you've done the roles many many times it must be hard to separate yourself from ideas that has been offered by another director something you've done in another production mm -hmm. how how does that feel like to work in different productions with the same role I really like it actually right. I really like to discover new things and and, and find new ways so I'm, I'm really excited always about it 
unless I don't agree. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you mean no, you no. can be stubborn? <laughs> no, no, no. But, uh, but I uh, mostly agree with Damiano. It's really good. It's really good, and uh, it's really fun. And and uh, you know, he doesn't want to make it a different opera. You know, what's really hard if you have somebody who tries to tell a story that that you don't can't feel or you don't understand. And the other collaborator on this, obviously, Tony Papano, our yeah, music director. Yeah, What's it like to do this kind of music with, with Tony? I mean, I would think it's, it's a heaven. dream. Or yeah, he's the best. He's amazing. We love him. And he's amazing and inspiring and, and, and so detailed and so moving and, and, uh, and so supportive. Mm. He's just fabulous. Just briefly, Carmen, it strikes me that a lot of conductors don't maybe have so much to say to the singers, and Tony always has, you know, he can't stop. A lot. <laughs> no. Is that a good thing? <laughs> yes, if you think that I'm not sleeping in the night, this is a good signal. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask each of you, before we round off this part, I want to ask, what's your favorite bit of Cavern Pack? You, you don't have, you can pick your own music, or you can pick something else. What, what's your, what's the bit you really love about these two pieces? Carmen? No? Oh, you remember yeah. It? yeah? Oh, it's so hard because I love it all. I can't say, I can't pick a There one. are a lot of good tunes. Uh, there's so many. I mean, the, the Turido, Santuzza Duet, the Intermezzo, uh, the, oh, the Inajamo, the, the whole pair Easter with procession. the Easter procession. It's all absolutely divine. Yeah. So that and was, I love that Pagliacci, was... the whole thing. Yeah, so. I think my opera is <laughs> 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 <It's> genius. <laughs> Of course it is. Thank you so much for thank being you. with us tonight. We know that you're working hard here during the final rehearsal. So shouldn't we give them a big, big thanks for taking time to be with us tonight. <laughs>